Type 1 diabetes management is all about a balancing act. Food intake, or rather carbohydrates eaten versus insulin taken, combined with the right timing. Getting this balance right will help achieve and maintain a steady blood glucose level in target range over time. Sounds simple enough, but of course in practice we know it's not. For a start, carbs versus insulin is not a simple science, and there are many variables we know about like exercise and illness, to name just a couple of things, that impact on the blood glucose levels. Which does complicate matters. But we all eat day in, day out, and of course, we need to eat foods containing carbohydrates for energy. But when you have type 1 diabetes, then you need to balance the carbohydrate intake with insulin to prevent your blood glucose levels from going too low or high, which we know we want to avoid. So let's just consider how we can achieve steady blood glucose levels by getting better at carb counting. We can control and measure what we eat and we can calculate carbohydrates in food. If people with type 1 diabetes just ate lots of foods with carbs in them and didn't make an insulin adjustment, the blood glucose levels will simply rise. On the contrary, if people with type 1 diabetes take insulin without eating carbohydrates, then this insulin is going to pull down the blood glucose quite rapidly, causing a hypo or a dangerously low level of blood glucose. Yet, if we get the balance right, that is, we match the carbohydrates with insulin, we can keep the blood glucose levels pretty steady in the target range over time. The only way to get the balance right between food carbs and insulin is to count the food carbs as accurately as possible and then match this up with the correct amount of insulin, also referred to as the insulin-carb ratio. This is why carbohydrate counting can help people with type 1 get much better control of blood glucose levels. We want you to get the balance right and get the right amount of insulin acting on the right amount of carbohydrates as often as possible, giving your levels in target range much more often and resulting in a better long-term health.